Welcome to Synology Partner Online Training or SPOT. Today we are talking about old flash technology, that is servers that are operated exclusively with SSDs and are therefore more expensive but also significantly more powerful. Then we will present a new segment of Synology, our own SSD memory. Today's video will cover three different topics. First, we'll talk about why all flash servers are more and more relevant and what is all flash server anyway. In the second part of this video, we are going to go into details about Synology SSDs and present their advantages and uses over the competition and showcase our new NVMe adapters and lineup of products. In the last part, we are going to showcase our portfolio of flash products and present their application scenarios. The first thing we need to consider is the difference between SSD and HDD storage. The main essential difference is that disks are medium that rotates. That means that disks rotate during its work and everything that rotates over time can also wear out. So we have a situation that can cause physical damage to the hardware itself and this will cause errors. This is called bad sectors which in the long run lead to data loss. On the other hand, SSD memory does not operate in this way. Meaning, there are no physical parts that are moving during their operation. But, it is important to emphasize that SSD has its own lifespan. SSDs work on a cell basis. There are three SSD cell types available. Single level cell, multi-level cell and triple level cell. In short, a multi-level cell stores 2 bits per storage cell and a TLC type stores 3 bits per cell and an SLC type only 1. For easier understanding, remember that a single level cell is better than the other two. However, you will rarely find them in the commercial sales because they are more expensive. The more data per cell is stored, the higher the level of wear. For analysis, we consider the MLC type which lasts about 3000 recordings. At first, it doesn't necessarily sound like much. However, compared to the conventional HDDs, SSD memory does not degrade when reading data. This means that just reading data from SSDs will not consume your storage memory over time. So you come to the conclusion that duration of the cell depends more on your writing cycle. SSD memory also runs much faster the benchmark used is the number of IOPS or input-output operations per second, which shows the SSD memory is about 300 times faster than a hard drive. Because of these differences, hard drives are mostly used for data storage or as a backup destination, while SSDs are used more for the operation of application itself. This is especially important for those planning to use virtualization tools, where high IOPS in SSD memory makes a significant difference. From a business point of view, it makes a lot of sense to invest more in your server because it will pay you back many times over through faster work or higher level of productivity in the office. If we did a short cost-benefit analysis, it is obvious that disks are still much cheaper. On average, a 4TB drive will be 4 times cheaper than SSD memory. However, if the money spent were measured in terms of performance, then you would spend 1.33 euros per IOP per disk and only 0.016 euros per IOP per SSD. Other advantages of SSD memory, in addition to performance, are low consumption of physical space due to higher storage density and lower energy consumption because less cooling is needed. Let's take a look now at the price movements of these two types of memory. It could be said that drastic drop in SSD prices will continue and there seems to be no end in sight. Currently, the cheapest models are already available at prices of 8 to 9 euro cents per gigabyte. On the other hand, the prices of hard drives are still lower, but they are definitely stagnant. So today, the price of a hard drive is around 2.4 cents per gigabyte. In the second part of today's video, we'll take a quick look at Synology Flash portfolio and all of its solutions. Here we see the special RAID configuration for SSD models. This RAID is referred to as F1. 
In addition to the ruggedness of SSDs, our proprietary RAID provides additional reliability. In contrast to traditional RAID, where the workload is evenly distributed across all hard drives, Synology RAID F1 deliberately distributes the workload unevenly among the drives. The reason for this is to prevent simultaneous failures of your SSDs. Synology can offer you hardware that grows with your needs and requirements. With our expansion units, you have a possibility not to only scale your deployments, but you could also set it up into a high availability cluster and in retrospect also protect your environment. On top of that, the DSM operating system with the numerous applications lifts the NAS from pure storage level to a comprehensive application server while you can use most of the applications for free. Here, for example, you can see in the top row, from left to right, the applications for our collaboration suite, such as Calendar, Chat, Mail Plus Server and Synology Office. Also, their surveillance station and hyper backup suite. And now, we come to the most interesting part of today's presentation, our in-house Synology SSDs. In this topic, we'll cover our new lineup of SSDs and NVMe memories, show you their compatibility, how the NVMEs can be used with our new M2 and E10 M2 combo cards and show you the benchmark against the industry competition. Here you can see our lineups of SATA SSDs and our M2 NVMe SSDs. The reason why we have decided to launch these new devices is because of today's increasingly demanding environments such as virtualization workloads and high traffic volume database storages. Synology SSD lineup is designed to provide consistent performance while maintaining low latency. Synology SAT 5200 SATA series SSDs have enterprise drive industry leading performance. SAT 5200 de drives deliver up to 98,000 or 67,000 sustained 4K random read write IOPS with minimal performance degradation across the lifespan of the drive. SET 5200 series includes power loss protection, which is very important for enterprise world and end-to-end -end data path protection for enhanced data durability, minimizing service disruptions due to data corruption. They're, they are rated 1.3 drives writes per day, DWPD, and are intended for mixed storage deployments. On the other hand, the NVMe series, Synology SNV3400 and SNV3500 NVMe SSDs aim to accelerate existing hard drive storage pools. They are optimized for low latency and random write performance. Synology's SNV series are built to be consistent and provide over 40,000 IOPS under sustained random write workloads. When it comes to understanding, the naming rules of our new segment, I would like to explain it in details. The first letter nominates the type of memory this is, so S stands for solid state. The second two letters explain the interface in this example. It is SATA, so AT stands for that. The first number show you, shows you what kind of class level the drives are in, and the second number is the form factor, i.e. the size. The zeros show the generation, and this is something that we have introduced in our FS models too. And in the last block of numbers and letters, they will denote the memory capacity in gigabytes. In this table, you can see the list of all Synology models which are compatible with our SAT 5200 SSDs. Basically, a vast majority of our supported products are supported with an exception of FS3017, FS2017 and FS1018, as well as our expansion unit RX2417 SAS. When it comes to our SNV3000 NVMe cards, here is the compatibility list. Keep in mind that for the models that have internal M2 slots, only the shorter card, the SNV3400, can be used. Here you can see the new adapters. Synology M2D20 and E10 M20T1. They are designed to boost I.O. performance and streamline storage experience. Synology's new M.2 adapters 
allows existing Synology customers to take full advantage of enterprise-grade endurance and performance of SNV3000 series NVMe SSDs. Additionally, the, the E10 M20 T1 is our long-demanded combo card. It is designed specifically for users who are looking to simultaneously increase storage and networking performance with the addition of a 10 GBE RJ45 port. E10 M20 T1 additionally supports multi-gigabit 5 and 2.5 GBE standards to enable cost-effective networking upgrades at home or office environments. Lastly, I'd like to point out that both of these cards have a form factor designed for 22-110 M2 cards. This is important to keep in mind. In simpler terms, these cards are longer and they have a PCIe 3.0x8 host bus interface, but will be able to accommodate shorter designed NVMe cards. Therefore, they can both be used with SNV3400 and SNV3500. When it comes to comparison between Synology SSDs and third-party vendors, we are going to make a comparison in four categories, which are endurance, reliability, compatibility and performance. When talking about endurance, Synology SSDs are designed to work in a NAS environment 24-7 and can withstand high DWPD. On the other hand, most of other client SSDs are built for less intensive tasks and have a lower DWPD marking. When it comes to reliability, the Synology SSD is the most reliable card ever validated at Synology. It is fully supported on all NAS models from the compatibility list and with its capacitors it has a power loss protection. On the other hand, the third party SSDs are designed for less intensive tasks and when it comes to some of the consumer grade SSDs, they don't have a power loss protection. When it comes to compatibility, the best idea is to have Synology SSDs for Synology NAS. This way, you will, you will avoid any potential compatibility changes due to firmware upgrades or hardware changes. On the other hand, Synology cannot guarantee that your SSD from a third-party vendor will always remain compatible. There could be potential firmware upgrades or new discoveries about hardware that were unknown at the time of testing. Performance-wise, Synology SSDs will provide you with constant, high performance even under heavy loads, while keeping latency low, whereas the third-party SSDs will have fluctuating performance with high latency. Additionally, I would like to emphasize the new SSD RMA procedure that Synology offers. We offer a direct swap service to all the enterprise customers on our SSD lineup. This is in order to minimize your downtime. For all the details, please get in touch with your local distributor. When it comes to Synology NVMe SSD, it can really compare well against the leading industry brands too. Our NVMe's are from the enterprise grade and what makes them really stand out is the affordable price. You will be able to get enterprise level grade NVMe at a comparable price of a consumer level NVMe SSDs from the competition. And the performance will be much higher than what the others can offer. What needs to be said about SNV3400 is that it is shorter memory stick and therefore it, has a, it does not have capacitor for power loss protection. Similarly, our SNV3500 offers outstanding performance too. It is by far the most affordable when you take into account its IOP performance and low latency. On top of that, it rivals the competitors in DWDP segments as well and it comes with a power loss protection. When it comes to our FS portfolio, Synology currently boasts with three models. Our newly announced FS3600, FS3400 and the FS6400. Here is also a short breakdown of the most important specs and the full list can of course be found in the datasheets on our website at any time. At the very end, I'd like to show you some of use case scenarios for our flash station series. Here is a use case for the FS3400 deployed at LMIS AG who develops smart software for customers in all sectors. The challenge they had consisted of finding a highly available and powerful enough backend memory for its own virtualization environment. 
In their case, the core consists of EA ESXi server, which hosts 70 virtual machines on two FS3400, which are connected in a real-time sync via heartbeat connection. This makes it clear that the configuration is absolutely fail-safe and the, and the virtualization at the top of the production system can run smoothly and securely at the same time due to the sufficient performance. When it comes to our FS6400, here you can see the deployment used at the German industrial company Muller. They demanded a highly productive virtualization environment to display their business processes. The best solution for them was a high availability cluster running in conjunction with Synology Hypervisor VMM Pro. This means that the two FS6400 6, work as a failover over pair that can run various applications and provide the necessary computing power while acting as a computing node cluster. They also use an RS3617XS Plus server which is used as a storage node to feed the computing nodes with necessary data. Thank you very much for your attention. And to wrap things up, I'd like to share with you a selected list of all the partners who have implemented the Synology FS models. Make sure to visit our section on the customer stories to find out all solutions Synology was able to offer to the challenges these businesses faced. Maybe you will also be able to recognize your own bottlenecks in one of these stories and how we could be the right solution for you. Thank you very much for your attention and until next time.